Hey everybody, welcome out to another episode of Bald Up Genetics. My name is Lloyd and if you like reptiles, then this channel is for you. Today we're going to be going over the top five favorite snakes in our collection. And we're also going to show you some feeding. Stay tuned. All right, so the first one on the, the top five list is this gray banded West Texas king snake. Uh, she is a great snake to handle. I like bringing her around uh, people that aren't really used to snakes, um, just because she, you know she's not going to be moving that fast. She is a little bit smaller, so she's not intim intimidating to people. Uh, she's a great feeder. Um, She's great to handle again. Uh, she looks, you know, I like I like the gray bandits. They're pretty cool. Um, she came to me from somebody who just was revamping their collection and just didn't have room for her anymore. So uh, I decided to take her in, um, and uh, it's been fun. It's been fun ever since. So uh, West Texas gray banded king snake. That's the first one on my top five list. Number four on the list is this leopard boa. And it's just because of the coloration. I mean, look at the orange on that belly. Um, the, the side patterns on him. Uh, it just makes for a really nice looking boa that's just a little bit different. Uh, red tail boa that's just a little bit different. He's pretty easy going. Um, he's, he's good to handle. Um, but his, just his coloration is what makes him on the top of the list. Just that earth tone. And again, just that outstanding orangish red that's on his belly right there. So this is a uh, red tail boa. This is a leopard morph. Um, and this makes the uh, top five list. Hey guys, so the next one on the list uh, of the top five, number three, is one of my female emerald, northern emerald tree boas. Uh, I picked her because just her demeanor, she's, she's really um, easy going. Uh, she's not, you know, real strikey. She doesn't try to lunge at you like some of the other uh, green trees I have. Uh, and then just the coloration of her too. A little blue iridescence that she has on her and just her overall color um, she's also too on the list because she was one that I really had to work with uh, of course you know she came in as an import uh, full of parasites I really had to work hard to keep you know keep her going keep weight on her she was regurging all the time uh, I had a medicator, hydrator all the time. And then uh, we got over that hurdle. And now, uh, and now she seems to be doing okay. She's feeding great now. Uh, she's putting on weight. So this, uh, this makes my top five list of all time snakes so far one of my female northern emerald tree boas. All right, everybody, so the, the next one on the list, uh, number two of the top five, of course, is one that you've seen before on recent videos, and that's our little Angolan python female. Of course, she's gonna have to make the list just for being such a unique species. Uh, she's a... Uh, She's interesting to, to have right now. Just the, you know, the feel of them, um, her attitude, you know, they, they, they do this hissing, more of this bluff hissing sound uh, than ball pythons do. Um, she, 
is very food motivated, so you really have to watch when you first go in. She does like to strike at you, but the more that we handle her, you know, we're gonna work through that. Uh, once you have her out, she's fine. Uh, she will hiss for a little while, but that seems to be their species. Uh, but again, our little Angolan python, uh, the feel of her, you know, even though they resemble ball pythons, they're a little more active. Uh, of course, they get a little bit bigger in size. Uh, the feel of them is, is, is different too because they have more of a beaded scale pattern. Uh, so it's, it's a little bit different feel for them. But of course, I had to put her on this list. All right, guys, and so for the final snake on the list, number one of the top five favorite snakes here at Bald Up Genetics, of course, it has to be a hatchling from this year because it was our very first one ever produced of this morph. And of course, it's the Dream Sickle. Uh, it's taken a while to get to this, uh, to produce something like this, double recessive. You know, of course, a lavender albino and a piebald, both are recessive genes. So both parents have to carry both of this, these morphs on, on, on each side in order to produce them. Uh, it was only one of three eggs and it was the only Dream Sickle, so the odds so of course, this is my number one snake at Bald Up Genetics, at least for right now. Uh, there's, I'm sure there's plenty more coming in the future. Uh, I've got a lot of great different kind of combos that I'm gonna do with Dreamsicle. Uh, pretty soon I'm gonna be adding Yellow Belly into it. I wanna add Black Pastel into it. And of course, uh, we'll see some other combinations. Right, so that's so that's it for my top five uh, favorite snakes in our collection for right now. Uh, now let's get to some of this bonus feeding. So here at Bald Up Genetics, we do feed uh, frozen thawed, and we also feed live. We do have a small colony of rats that we raise. So we can just add a supplement, supplementary food uh, throughout the week to somebody that we need to. But we do primarily uh, feed out frozen thawed, and that's what you're going to see right now. I'm never going to do any live feeds on this channel. Uh, I'm going to actually do very few feedings on this channel. But for right now, I figured uh, I would show you a couple of the frozen thawed ones. Okay, guys. So when I feed out. Uh, since I know a lot of these are, are super hungry, uh, they have a really great feeding response. Uh, I use long tongs to feed out the prey item, and then I also use a snake hook, so it gives me distance between them and the tub when I pull the tub out, because I've had a couple of times where some of them have launched out and they've gotten pretty close to my face, especially with these tubs right in here. Um, so I'll pull the tub out, give them their food item, and of course push it back in and then for me for that day so I know you know I can come back and check in a little while to make sure they've eaten I will move their name tags and that will let me know or somebody else know that they've been fed and we need to check on them. so let me go grab a rat and we'll show you some feedings
All right, everybody, so that's it for this video. Hope everybody enjoyed it. Leave me a comment down below. If you haven't already, subscribe down below. It doesn't cost you anything, but it means a lot to this channel. Turn on that post notification bell so every time we upload a video, which typically is gonna be on Tuesdays, you'll be informed. You can also share these videos and this channel to other people on your social media platforms. It would be greatly appreciated. Our numbers are slowly going up, and that's great. That's all we ask for. You guys are helping us out a lot by subscribing to this channel. I hope you enjoyed the uh, top five of my most favorite snakes so far in our collection, and also some of the feedings that we just did. Until the next video, take care, and we'll see you again real soon. Bye, everybody.